The theme of this discussion is the number one. Today we're talking about single embryo transfer and Dr. Chen is going to tell us what that is. So we're very excited about single embryo transfer because we actually lead uh, New Jersey in single embryo transfer. We're number one in single embryo transfer, number one in um, the lowest number of multiple births. And we're going to tell you why that's important. Why is that important, Deb? It's important because my sister is a NICU nurse. She, she works overnights in a neonatal intensive care unit, and there isn't a, a, a single shift that she does that she doesn't come home and tell me, or go home and tell me about maybe a set of twins, IVF twins, or triplets that she took care of that were born prematurely, that are having an extended stay in the NICU, that will likely experience long-term sequelae, and these are the things that we want to avoid when we, when we have a patient that goes through an IVF cycle who is eligible for a single embryo transfer. But you may say, if I only put in one embryo, how am I gonna get pregnant? Well. At IRMS at St. Barnabas, that's what we've been working on, and that's why we're leaders in what we do, is we can generate some of the highest pregnancy rates with only one embryo. And a lot of that is done through this very cool technology that's happening in the embryology lab. Some of it's done because we're very good at selecting embryos and evaluating embryos and growing embryos, and some of it is through this cool thing called NGS or PGS, those stand for next generation sequencing, and PGS is a more general term standing for pre-implantation genetic screening. Mm -hmm. So the technology that surrounds an IVF cycle is, is immense, and I think that for the purposes of what we're talking about today, those are the questions that, that you should ask in, in a consultation. But suffice to say that the, the six of us, we are six female physicians here at IRMS, as well as our laboratory, which I think it's fair to say is one of the most experienced laboratories in the world. Um, I mean, our cumulative embryology experience. Like hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Yeah. Um, is, is that we, as a program, are dedicated to single embryo transfer, which is why we, we take it very seriously and have become the leader in New Jersey for the percent of cycles that actually have a single embryo transfer. And not everybody can do this, but for, the, for most of our patients, what we're finding is if we do a good job and we get a nice looking embryo, putting the embryos in one at a time yields more babies than putting them in two at a time mm -hmm. or three at a time. That's the crazy thing, and we have the statistics to show it. Obviously, we're trying to optimize the pregnancy rate, and we don't treat everybody the same. So not everybody is gonna get the exact same treatment, but we are really, really excited about this because this means all the complications of fertility treatment, which are really from multiple births, we eliminate. So. Um, and still we make a lot of pregnancy, so right. that's what we're about. Right, our goal as reproductive endocrinologists, as OBGYNs, as women, as moms, is to, is to have a, a healthy pregnancy outcome, a healthy baby and a healthy mom. And I think single embryo transfer is a huge part of that. Absolutely. Thank you.